In this video, we'll focus on improving the security of your Nextcloud installation with two-factor authentication, password hardening, and end-to-end -end encryption. Nextcloud is all about offering a privacy-focused alternative to all the big tech companies out there, but if you are unable to secure your data, all that privacy goes out the window. The first thing you can do is enable two-factor authentication for all accounts that have administrative access. You would have to install an app for this job, so go to the Profile menu, Apps, switch to the Featured category and make a search for two-factor. There are two apps you could use. The first one is two-factor authentication via Nextcloud notification. It allows using any of your logged in devices as second factor. So if I'm trying to log in with the Nextcloud desktop app on my computer, I could use the Nextcloud app on my phone to verify it. The one I'll use is two-factor TOTP provider. TOTP stands for time-based one-time password, which is an algorithm that generates a one-time password using the current time as a source of uniqueness. Press the enable button. Now go to your personal settings, security, and enable TOTP. Now you need to scan this QR code with your favorite 2FA authenticator app. You could use the default passwords app if you are on an iPhone. All you need to do is just scan this code with your camera and follow along. Tap on the link that will show up. This will load the passwords app on your iPhone. Press the plus sign to add a new user. Enter a label and your next cloud administrative login credentials. Save. Now tap on the newly created user. Your two-factor code will appear under the passwords field, but iPhones automatically hide such sensitive content, so the details are not visible in our recording. You should enter the code that will show up on your iPhone under the TOTP setting in Nextcloud in order to verify the setup. The next time you try to log in, besides the username and password, you'd be asked to enter your 2FA code, which you'd be able to get through the Passwords app. Another thing you could do is tighten up the password policy for your Nextcloud users. This option is available via the Administration Settings menu, Security. As you can see, you can limit the number of login attempts before the user account will be disabled. For example, if I enter 5, the account will be disabled upon 5 unsuccessful login attempts. You could also manage your general password policies, increase the minimum password length, enforce upper and lower case, numbers, special characters, and also check the password against a list of breach passwords from haveibeenpawned.com. As far as your actual Nextcloud data is concerned, we installed an SL certificate at the start, so our data travels between our client apps and the server encrypted. However, the data is not encrypted at the actual server. For example, if I use the file manager in the hosting account control panel, I could navigate to the data folder of my Nextcloud installation and see all the files, open them and download them. You can see that you have the option to enable server-side encryption, but this comes with a performance penalty, and you should also know that the main issue with this type of encryption is that your Nextcloud will store the actual encryption keys on the server in the Nextcloud data folder and database, so if a hacker exploits a vulnerability in another app, such as a WordPress installation, a Joomla installation, or something else, and they get access to all your files, they could also retrieve the encryption keys stored in your Nextcloud instance. This option is more suitable against physical access or if you're using an external storage. The better way to encrypt your data is to use end-to-end -end encryption. With it, you can opt to encrypt only specific folders and the actual keys are stored in your Nextcloud client app and not on the server making decryption impossible even if the server or your specific hosting account is hacked. End-to-end -end encryption only works with the Nextcloud desktop and mobile apps. Here's how you can set it up. The first thing is to install the end-to-end -end encryption app, so go to the Apps menu, Featured Apps category, and make a search for Encryption. There it is, end-to-end -end encryption. Press the download and enable button to activate it. Next step is to enable the end-to-end -end encryption for your admin account and this is done at your client app since that's where the keys are stored. Here's how you can do it using the Nextcloud desktop app for Mac. Load up the Nextcloud app and go to the settings menu. There 
If you've installed the end-to-end -end encryption app on your Nextcloud, you should see this notice. This account supports end-to-end -end encryption. Click on the Setup Encryption button, and you'll see the following message. To protect your cryptographic identity, we encrypt it with a mnemonic of 12 dictionary words. You should note down these words and keep them safe. This 12-word phrase is used to generate and recover your private key for the end-to-end -end encryption. You could use this phrase to set up the encryption on another device of yours. Let's proceed by clicking the OK button. That's how simple it was to set up the encryption. Now the next step is to actually use it to encrypt some of our data on the Nextcloud server. So I'll open the Finder app and that's my Nextcloud shortcut directly accessible under Favorites. Note that the encryption takes place during the actual data upload, so you cannot encrypt existing files with that method. You would have to re-upload them to an encrypted folder. That's really important to remember. So let's create a new folder, I'll name it E2EE, right click on it, and under the Nextcloud menu you should see the option to encrypt it. Let's test the encryption. I'll copy a couple of files to that folder. So I'll go to my documents and I'll copy these two text files. Now I'll upload them to my encrypted E2EE folder. So I'll right click on it and just paste these two items. Let's enter that folder. The green tick signifies that the file has been uploaded successfully to the Nextcloud server. To verify that the files have been encrypted successfully, let's try to access them directly on the server using the file manager in the hosting account control panel. Navigate to the location of your Nextcloud installation, in my case that's the cloud subdomain. The data folder is where all the data uploaded by the users reside. My username is admin, so I'll enter that folder. And the files folder there is the place where all my uploads are located. You can see that all my data is directly available, but if we navigate to the encrypted folder, you can see that the files are actually encrypted on the server, so even if someone has access to it, they will not be able to open them or view them directly. And that wraps up our video on how to secure your next cloud installation. Stay private, stay secure, and see you in the next one.